March 21st, 2004 in Temecula, California. Let's go ringside for the call. Here's slow. Oh, Pedin that body shot. shot to the body. What a body shot. Pedin is in if Campbell goes back down to the body, this fight will end. What a body. He may have broken a rib. That was a savage right uppercut. That's exactly the punch he was talking to us about. A shot to the liver, he said, was his best punch. He said, you just can't recover from it. And I'm not sure Pedin has yet. He was talking about the left hook. That was the right uppercut. As I said, he gotten away from throwing that punch a little bit. He goes back down there. I don't know if he knows how bad Pedin is hurt right now. I mean, he just straightened Pete right up with that shot. Oh! There's a left hand by Pete, and down goes Campbell! That's it! What a shock! What a shock! Nate Campbell, all but had that fight won with those body shots, stood up, played with his opponent, was completely overconfident with his hands down and against the guy without one punch power, got hit right on the chin with a perfect left hook and was knocked out. I mean, you can't draw it up any better than that. You're absolutely right. He dropped his hands, took a long look at Peden, and Peden said, thank you very much, good night. Take another look at this. Playing games with the hands down, okay? Thank you very much. Not smart. Not smart. A short left hook to the point of the chin. Oh! It was more like a three... A three-quarter uppercut hook. One of those 45-degree angle jobs. Vicious. It doesn't matter who you are. Just because you're Nate Campbell, or Muhammad Ali for that matter, it doesn't matter who you are. You stand up with your hands down in front of a professional prize fighter at this level, you will get knocked out. Yeah, and it's the old thing of what was he thinking?